Hey guys, this is a Game Center leaderboard tutorial for iOS 8, Xcode 6 in the Swift programming language. A lot of people have been asking for this, so here it is. What this is going to do is let you add Game Center to your game, sign in the user and stuff, and then send user scores to a leaderboard and let the user look at that leaderboard. So here we go. Actually, before you waste your time following this, in case you don't have an Apple developer account, you do need one to actually use Game Center at all. So throw your hundred dollars towards Apple and then let's get started. I'm gonna make a new project here, single view. I'll call it GC Tutorial. And make sure you're in Swift. Okay, so just save that up. Now your app should probably already be set up if you're looking at a Game Center tutorial, you're probably just adding some finishing touches. But I'm just gonna go ahead and make a really simple app that will make it clear to you guys how to use Game Center. I'm going to have a label that this is going to show our score. And now this game is going to be a pretty crazy game. What you're going to do is press the button to add points. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Add points. And now, last, I'm just going to have one more button. And this is going to do two things. It's going to send the, the current score to the leaderboard. And it's going to bring up the leaderboard. Now you're it. Each one of your individual apps are probably going to have all this code in a different place. Like, I doubt you're going to have a done button that sends a score and shows a leaderboard, but all you have to do is just move the block of code around to wherever it best fits. Okay, that's up to you guys. So let's set up this app. Um, I'm going to make a variable called score. That's an integer. And I'm going to start at zero. Now I'm going to make a... UI outlet by control dragging from the label and this is going to be my score label. Now I need to add points with this button so I'm going to control drag make an action called add points. Now that's going to be whenever the user presses the button and this is going to be simple all we're doing is score plus plus which basically means add one to the score whenever the button is pressed and we're going to make the label show the current score just by showing the variable. Oh, okay. Dot text. Sorry. There we go. Now let's check it out. Alright, here's our app. This is a super fun game. Let's see if this works. It works, okay. So we have our scoring system. Now obviously in your app you're gonna want to like save the high score and only send it if it's a high score, but that's not up to me, that's up to you. It's not too hard. And I'm sure you already have a high score system set up. Okay, so we're done with this. Now, what we need to do next is sign the user into Game Center. Now here's why we need our Apple developer account. Uh, we need iTunes Connect. so. Let's go ahead and make an app for this app and associate a Game Center leaderboard with it. You see here, I, I already ran through this tutorial to make sure it's sparkly. Oh, and check out my apps, by the way. Here you go. All right, plus new iOS app. GC Tutorial. This one isn't a run through. This is a real deal, fellas. Let's just do all this stuff. Oh, bundle ID. I'm sure you guys are already familiar with this, but you find it right here. So, for some reason it doesn't let you copy the whole thing. It's really annoying, but make sure you type that in exactly. What was it? GC-Tutorial. Alright, click on Game Center. And single game, I'm assuming. I don't know, maybe you're doing big things with your life. And okay. Now this is a leaderboard tutorial, so we're going to add a leaderboard. Single leaderboard. And we're going to make a reference name. I'll call it GC Tutorial Leaderboard. Leaderboard ID, this can be whatever you want. Um, you're going to need to remember it, and it has to be unique to this app. So nobody else could have used it. So let's make something crazy. I doubt anyone's used that. 
I'll, I'll add another three just in case. Um, here's all the score you can use. Um, we're using integers. I'm sure most of you are. Um, I'm sure you're also using best score and probably sorting it high to low. We're not going to put a range in. Um, you have to add a language. So English. Display name of the leaderboard. Here we go. Do you see tutorial? Score format is just commas or decimals. Uh, I use commas here in the US. This is like what shows up after the score. Um, and there's a plural and a singular. This one's singular and this one's plural. Save. Okay, let's get the user signed into Game Center. Now, most likely in your game, you're gonna do this as soon as the view loads. So we're gonna do it in view did load. Now I have all the code here, and you can actually get this in the description, so you don't have to type it all out, unless you want to, it's probably good practice. Okay, whatever. Let's get the user in. Um, here's the code. I have it here in a function called authenticate local player. Let me just paste this in. Um, since it's in a function, you can actually just um, put this code that's inside the function in view did load, but I like to stay organized in this way, so when the view loads, I'm going to call the function authenticate local player by typing this, and then it's going to go here. Um, we have an error actually because I forgot to import game kit. That should fix that. There we go. So this code either shows the sign in screen for the user to sign in or shows the welcome back to game center banner. So yeah, that's what this does. And this right here prints to the console will either true or false, true for success, false for fail. Um, next step. What we want to do is in my app, this is probably going to be different for yours, but when the user presses the done button, we want to do two things. Save the high score to the leaderboard and show the leaderboard. So I need an action for done. Now I'm going to do this again where I have separate functions and I'm just going to call them. So first let's save the high score to the leaderboard. It's right here. So I have it as save high score. Right here we need something a little interesting. Um, you need the uh, variable that you used for the high score. So we're going to need to call this in done. And just put in the, the name of the variable there. So we're calling this function when the user presses done. Now what it does is checks if the user is signed into Game Center and it sends the score to this leaderboard and this is very important. Leaderboard identifier must match the one that we just made. So you'll find it here on your Game Center page. Copy that and paste it in there. Don't want to get that wrong. Now, score reporter dot value. This is also important. What's in here must match the variable of the integer that you want to send to the leaderboard. So mine is score. It's defined up here. Yours might be high score or something. And yeah, so this does some other cool stuff. That saves the high score. Good. Now, what else do we need to do? We need to show the leaderboard. Now we have to do a few things here. So they're not going to work unless we do them all. So be prepared for errors. This function, show leader, will show the leaderboard. Um, we're going to call it here again in the done button. So this shows the leaderboard. Don't worry about the error. We have an error because there's no way to close the leaderboard. So we're going to do that now with this function. Now we don't need to call this function. We just need it in there. Let me go into full screen. So here's what I just pasted. We don't need to call this function, we just need it in there. And what it does is it makes the done button work so the user can actually hide the leaderboard screen. Okay, so we still have an error. It's because we need to add one more thing up here in our class. Comma, GK Game Center Controller Delegate. That's gonna take care of it. So this is actually it, guys. If I play this here, we'll find that it all works nicely. So we should have a sign-in screen pop up, unless I'm already signed in. So I was already signed in. So here I am, officially signed in. Let's add some points. Now when we press done, remember what it's doing. We are calling the save high score function, which sends our high score to the leaderboard. 
with the leaderboard ID that we've specified in iTunes Connect, and it brings up the leaderboard with show leader, which is right here. Okay, let's do it. So, here's our leaderboard. We can control it fine. Um, I must have sent this six in earlier. Um, I don't remember what I just sent, but when I show the leaderboard again, it should be updated. 16, let's see. 16. Same account, so it just replace it. Now everything is working. Um, this is all the code you need. It's finally up to date, unlike my last tutorial. So, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if I'm not too lazy, I'll upload my cheat sheet onto a file sharing website so you could copy and paste stuff. And that's pretty much it. Feel free to subscribe. Leave questions in the comments. I read them. Don't worry. Check out my apps. Here they are again. Please request a tutorial. I'd love to do some more. If any developers are listening and you want to do like a review for review on the App Store kind of thing, I'm down. Other than that, happy 2015 turn up. That's what's good.